publish with changes because it's 10 a.m. <gasps> like, is maintenance here? It says, I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. Sean's shaking his head no. Why not? They have to be done. I'd be lying if I said that I'm excited for the market tomorrow. This is like Christmas. Oh my God, that is so adorable. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, it's 9.38 in the morning and I'm starting the vlog here. This is another market prep week, but it's more than market prep. I'm doing a lot of stuff for the business. I have a new product coming, which if you've been watching, I am so excited. The punch needle kits are going to be available by the end of this week, which is a little stressful considering it's Tuesday, but I just have to assemble them. I have to like print out stickers and like do that, but all the products are here. Although we are waiting for punch needles that are coming Thursday because I want to have more than just 10 kits to release. So we have more stuff coming. We're going to be grinding and by we, I mean Sean and I. Also, if you can hear in my voice, I am sick. I don't know why I got a vaccine but I was Googling it and I don't think that's why I'm sick. Like I don't think that's like a side effect of this vaccine. So I don't know, I probably got sick from a market or something. I come in contact with a lot of people, so that wouldn't surprise me. But also this week, the dance season starts. So I'm starting my part-time tap teaching job this week. I've been teaching a little bit at the studio, but this is the official start of the season. I'm waiting on a schedule still. I don't know when I'm teaching. I think it's Thursday nights, I'm pretty sure. Also yesterday was Labor Day, so I took yesterday off. I was on the boat with Sean. It was so nice to have a day off, although I did work at night. I started editing a YouTube video. But right now, I'm editing a video. I've been doing this for most of the morning and I'm not gonna talk too much today, probably, because I know how annoying it can sound when someone's sick. So it's a shame that this is the first clip of the vlog, but honestly, today is gonna be an editing day, and then if I can get more done, I'm gonna work on car coasters because I have some orders that I need to fulfill. And then I also need to restock car coasters for this market, nothing's new. Every single week I have to restock car coasters, but I'm very excited to get going on these kits. I think Sean and I are gonna work on them tonight. That's the plan, fingers crossed. Uh, Thursday, Duncan has a vet appointment and then I teach dance. So it's gonna be a little tricky to get a ton done, but I'm gonna try. And then today at 2 p.m., Duncan has his agility training. So that's kind of the schedule for the week. I'm gonna keep editing this video. Also, I have <laughs> Thoughts just are popping into my head. I should talk about the markets I have this weekend. I have actually just one market, it's on Saturday. So it's a one day market, gonna be prepping for that market this week. And like I said, doing some other things like the punch needle kit, which will be linked in the description below. Crazy that I'm saying that because they're not ready yet, but when you're watching this, they are. I'm gonna keep editing and I will talk to you either later today or tomorrow, but uh, this is gonna take me a long time. I'm on Monday, I think. This is another week in my life. I think I'm on Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, I'm on Tuesday and it's already a 20 minute video. So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to still edit. Today is Tuesday and it's 9.55 and Duncan is at my feet. Come here. You're not so little as you were two months ago. Oh my goodness. Anyways, <laughs> I'm so excited for today because, well, it's mostly going to be a car coaster making day, but this morning I have a couple of things to show you. And that's why I'm very excited. So car coasters will be later, but let me just get into everything I want to show you. So first thing, I ordered a little something for myself from another small business. Her name is Aura Clay and she's based out of California. I'm almost positive. This is her little business card. Look how cute. And I ordered a little mug. It's funny, I feel like it's a girl thing to collect 
like water bottles and mugs but especially water bottles and I used to kind of do that like I have a lot of water bottles and Sean would give me a hard time about it <laughs> so yesterday I'm like well I guess I've moved on to collecting cute mugs for like tea and coffee especially in the winter but this is handmade I'm actually obsessed with it it's this cute cow mug Look at its little ears and it has a little cow figurine hanging off the edge. So I'm so excited to use this this fall and winter. That mug and the mushroom mug that I got at a market from Kingdom of Ceramics. I'm so excited to use this fall. So I wanted to share that. You should definitely go support her. Her stuff is absolutely adorable. So that was the first thing. The second thing, as you may know, I make tote bags. I use my Cricut iron-on, is that what it's called? Cricut heat press. That's what I'm currently using to iron on vinyl to tote bags. I also tuck tote bags, that's a separate thing. But for the iron on ones, I use my Cricut and that's been going great, but not so great. <laughs> like it's not the most efficient thing. Uh, Sean and I have talked about getting like a clamshell heat press in the past, but they're just kind of expensive, not in our budget right now, it's not a necessity. But I had a company reach out to me like a week ago about a week ago, offering to send me a heat press. Are you kidding me? I was like, no way. So they sent me a heat press and I wanna unbox it and try it out today. But I got so excited that I ordered some more vinyls. Well, they're not vinyls, they're screen print designs. Screen print heat transfers. I'm not great with the technicalities, but I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, screen print heat transfers let me show you them and this is also from another small business who makes studio vlogs and I watch her all the time I've been watching her for a while so her name of her business and her YouTube is Cotswold & Co you probably have heard of her if not already watch her Cotswold & Co uh, Cotswold & Co Cotswold & Co that is a tongue twister for me it's spelled c-o-t-s-w-o-l-d and co. So I got five different designs from her and I got multiple of each design and I need to look up, oh did she include the instructions? Yay! Okay, I was gonna re-look up the instructions on how to do it but she included them. Green print transfers, that's what I got. So I'm hoping this works with my tote bags. From what I understand it should be just fine. So they're backwards because when you press them that would be the right side up. So the first one says I can buy myself flowers, which I think is gonna be so cute on a tote bag. So I can buy myself flowers, it's in white. That's why it's hard to see. <laughs> then I got this one that says I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. These are usually put on t-shirts or sweatshirts, but I will be putting them on tote bags. And then I got this one that says fueled by iced coffee and anxiety. That three, I got two more, I guess. Let me see. This one that says good vibes only. Classic. And then last but not least, I got this pretty blue one that says show up as the best version of yourself. So I'm very excited. I'm glad that I could finally purchase something from her because I've been watching her for a while, but I didn't really have a need to purchase uh, anything. Although I could have purchased the transfers and used my heat press. I just didn't think of that. Um, my like Cricut one. Okay, let's unbox this heat press. I'm so excited. I've been waiting to unbox it in a video, so it's just been sitting in my office for a couple days. Let me get it. Duncan is excited too. Okay, this is the HTV Ront Auto Heat Press. So HTV R-O-N-T Auto Heat Press. Duncan, you trying to unbox it? I'm so excited. They have a blue one and a white one. I think this is the white one because I was reading the box. And it looks like it's the white. I would have been happy with either. This is like Christmas. Okay, so this is the manual. Which I will be looking at. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a place for this. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Oh my gosh, this is like crazy. This might change, but at least for now, I'm gonna put it right between my printer and my laminator. I moved my Cricut out of the way. Look how stunning. 
and only the most satisfying part. Okay, I just plugged it in. I'm gonna put it on. Whoa. And I think I slide this out on my own, yeah. Okay, very sleek, I must say. Okay, so I'm about to try it out. Um, I'm a little confused because it came with this, which you often put over designs when pressing them, but this was just at the very top of the box, and I don't wanna like melt something that, this is just a different texture than I'm used to. And I've read the instructions and it didn't mention this at all. Hmm, 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 what do we do, Duncan? Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at a couple more videos of people using this and see if they use that. So for my quick research, this is a Teflon sheet that it came with. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. But first, I wanna get this set up to my specifications for these transfers. So when you buy transfers, they'll typically have instructions on how to press that specific one. So for these, they're screen print transfers, so I need to set the temperature to 320 degrees Fahrenheit to 330 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna press the bag before I put the design on it and then I will press it with the design for seven seconds and it's a hot peel so I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit temperature and then the plus button until I get to 320 degrees the time I'm gonna do seven seconds Okay, and if I just wait three seconds, that will be set. Although I don't know why it says 212. Oh, I think that's what it's currently at. So I have to let it get up to 320 and then I'll come back and we'll make our first tote bag. Okay, so I increased the temperature to 330 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm also gonna increase the time because I'm doing it on canvas, not a t-shirt. I'm gonna do 12 seconds and see how that does. So first I'm gonna just do it without the design to kind of iron it, get any wrinkles out. And then I'm gonna do the, I'm pretty cool but I cry a lot to start. I'm not gonna use the Teflon. And this is a hot peel, so I need to peel it in a second. I'm just gonna Make sure it's really on there. Oh my gosh. This is so easy. I'm obsessed. Look at how cute. Oh my god. That is so adorable. Okay, I'm going to keep making these before I do car coasters. Okay, these are all the new transfers on the tote bags, and I think I should sell them on Etsy, what do you think? But I went to make more, and I'm out of tote bags. So, I am gonna go order some more tote bags, and whenever they come in, I will be making more of these. But how cute! I'm also so excited about that heat press, like that's gonna save me so much time from when I was using the handheld one. And yeah, I don't know, it's just a nice, piece of machinery to have. So thank you again to HTV Vaunt for sending me that. But right now I'm gonna put some price tags on those tote bags. I also have a package I need to open, so let's do that. Okay, I have this package. It's nothing crazy. I already know what it is. It's bags for my pop-ups and I just get these from Amazon. I can't believe I already ran out of them. I think I ordered a hundred. So crazy, because not everyone gets a bag. In fact, I'd say like probably half, if not more, of my customers don't get a bag. I think I got 200 this time. So we will be good, hopefully, for a little bit. But I have an open box right here, so I'll just show you. Because I'm not completely out, but they're just little white bags. Like, is maintenance here? 
Anyway, so little white bags. I'm gonna go see what he's barking at. This was my second guess. Are you barking at your reflection? Make me think people are here, and I'm just talking to myself in my office. Are you bringing yourself a toy in the reflection? Also, another super exciting package I got. Ink. <laughs> I am not out yet, but I'm low enough that I don't want to get to the point where I all of a sudden don't have ink and I don't have any on hand. So I got some ink. So expensive, not my favorite purchase, but has to be done. So yeah, uh, let's tag these totes and then make car coasters. Oh my god. What? Cows don't have white spots. It's 1.40 and I'm punch needling away, although I haven't done that much. Uh, so I have, I've actually, <laughs> I've actually done like nothing. I did this, this, and then the smile on Kirby. And as you saw, I did this incorrectly and I compromised the fabric too much so I can't fix that. So I'm gonna have to do that coaster on a separate sheet, probably when I do my next sheet because that order doesn't have to go out for a few days. Anyways, I'm still working, clearly. I'd like to get the sheet done today. I kind of have to because these orders need to go out tomorrow. Worst comes to worst, I'll just do the orders that are on here and then cut it out and not do all the other coasters that are on here, but I hope that doesn't end up being the case. But I'm popping in because I just got my schedule for tomorrow night for teaching. So I'll be teaching from 5 to 8 p.m. and it's a 30 minute drive. So that'll be four hours tomorrow that I'm not here, not working. I'll be at the studio. So also I'm gonna be teaching beginner jazz. It's like a beginner jazz tap class and the whole thing's an hour. So 30 minutes of it will be jazz. So I haven't taken a jazz class since I was little. So I need to watch some videos and prepare for teaching that, but I'm glad I grew up taking jazz because I feel less scared about teaching it. Uh, but I definitely need a refresher to see like what I should do for the beginner class. But yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, I'm probably gonna prep for that tomorrow or honestly tonight, I should tonight, so that I'm not so stressed tomorrow. And I just feel like there's so much that I want slash need to do this week and today is Wednesday and it's halfway through Wednesday and tomorrow I'm pretty busy with the vet appointment and then teaching class and then it's Friday. And I want the punch needle kits to be available by Friday. Like it's gonna happen because I've said that's when I'm gonna make them available and there's no reason they shouldn't be. Like it's not rushing it. Everything is ready to go. Like I know how I'm gonna pack them. I have Sean's help. So right now I'm gonna take a quick break and I'm gonna build some boxes for these kits because that's one of the things that's just gonna be a tedious step. So I'm gonna do that. After I do that, I'm gonna get back to punch needling. So let's build some boxes. And thank you to whoever commented saying that I need to build them differently. I, <laughs> I should have figured that out on my own, but I was just like, I guess that's just how this box is because I couldn't figure out how else it would go. But thank you if you commented that. I'm gonna build them correctly now. 
kissing you I write it off for someone's Don't wanna face the truth That I keep making every bad excuse This ain't even love yet I can't help but love it Oh my, oh my, I tell myself to stop But I can't stop it Oh no, oh no, I can't control myself The way I am No, it can't be good Cause it feels too good Yeah, no, it's wrong with me I haven't really left the couch since last talking to you. This is what the sheet looks like. I actually took out the yarn on the Kirby's because I'm gonna be done with this and I'm gonna cut them out and prepare them because I gotta get going on finishing these coasters and packing them up to ship tomorrow. Like I've been saying, tomorrow is pretty busy so I don't wanna have to do this tomorrow. Uh, I think it's gonna be a punch needle kit day in the time that I have between his vet appointment and going to teach so yeah that's my plan for tomorrow i'm excited uh, i also need to make more car coasters for this weekend if i have time because i'm a little low on inventory i just took photos product photos for the punch needle kits so i took a photo of everything that's inside aside from the instructions and then like the box itself um and i feel like there's something else oh i'm also sitting here watching a beginner jazz dance class because I'm trying to get prepared for tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna be watching while I cut these out. It's about six o'clock and I'm still working on these coasters. I moved to my office because Duncan is being crazy. I can't even work near him right now. So I'm still doing this, but I just wanted to say, I like, you guys make me so happy. Your comments are always so sweet. And I don't think I've ever gotten a rude comment, but I just got a comment and I think it's my favorite comment. <laughs> like seriously, anyone who comments is so, so sweet. And I, they all make me so happy. But uh, Brittany, who she messaged me on Instagram asking about the kits too. So thank you in advance. Uh, for purchasing a kit, but she said I love the long vlogs when I saw how long it was I changed into my PJs and grabbed some chips lol You got me hooked on punch needling and I cannot wait to order the kit and that comment seriously makes me so happy because That's how I feel about a lot of channels like I watch a lot of long podcasts and I <laughs> Literally just like cozy up and watch them and so the fact that people are doing that to my videos is very cool and it makes me happy so I just wanted to come on and share my appreciation for your support and love and anyone who watches and doesn't comment or watches and comments, whatever it is, because I'm definitely a silent watcher of many channels. I like never comment, but I've been starting to comment more on people's channels because I know how much I appreciate when people comment sweet things. So I just wanted to say that and now I'm going to get back to making car coasters. Starting to think that we do things way too differently to take this seriously. And all of the times that we said we go to therapy, we still we never been. Yeah, yeah. But things don't change, they stay the same. I've gotta go my own way. Yeah, things don't change. I've got Okay, those orders are packed, and I'm actually gonna go drop them off room tonight so that they're just ready to be picked up tomorrow and then Sean and I are going to my parents and he guesses why that's right we have packages to pick up so we're gonna go pick up some packages and then I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else tonight if I do it's gonna be punch needle kit related like measuring yarn or cutting out felt something like that so 
I will either see you later tonight or tomorrow. I am back from my parents and we got some work done while I was there so I want to show you what we did and then the rest of tonight I'm just gonna sit on the couch and work on the custom sticker order that I still need to finish um, but yeah let me show you what we did and I don't know if I said this but it's like 9 30 right now uh, we got home a little while ago while we were there Sean cut out some fabric for the punch needle kits uh, I think we still need to cut more but this is pretty good and then we started tightening them on the hoops so we got one two three four five done and then I cut out some felt for each of the kits as well and then I have the boxes here and then I also need to get the yarn cut up so we need to do that and then print out stickers and then we also have the guide the punch needle guide that is gonna go into each kit and then we have the punch needle and the glue sticks so everything is coming together we're gonna work on these tomorrow I believe but I will see you then. Good morning, it's next morning, it's 10.30 and today is Thursday and this is the busy day of the week. So I've like been focused on this day all week because I have Duncan's vet appointment in an hour. What's up? I have his vet appointment in an hour and then I'm teaching tonight. So I just spent like 45 minutes planning out my classes tonight. I just have two classes. I have the beginner tap and jazz and then the, which is an hour combined and then advanced tap so Duncan is yet again barking at himself in the TV but today is also kit making day so I think I'm gonna start measuring out some yarn for the kits I'm gonna be listing the kits tomorrow which is Friday and yeah they don't all have to be made I can totally make them to order but I do want to have some made so I'm gonna start measuring and cutting yarn for the kits I'm gonna just do that up until we have to leave for his appointment, which will be around 11.15. So we have 45 minutes. Still working on measuring out the yarn, but I wanted to quickly say, someone commented on my last video where I was talking about whether or not I wanted to include glue sticks in the kits, and she suggested just making it an option for people, and that's such an easy solution. I'm definitely gonna do that, but since I'm gonna do that, I can't fully prepare these kits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the yarn in the bags, and I'm not gonna seal it, because I also put the glue sticks in there. And once people order, I'll put the glue sticks in there if they got glue sticks, seal the bag, and then seal the kit. So I'm going to do everything but put the glue sticks in there and seal the kits with the stickers. So I'm still going to print out the stickers to have them ready. But yeah, I just thought of that. So I'm going to keep working on this yarn. <laughs> it's taking a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. Now I know all the things that I won't think I'm good. It's 12.10 and Duncan and I are back from his vet appointment. That was pretty quick, which is good, but it was insane. He did not want to be restrained at all to get his temperature taken. He was like almost, like he almost jumped off the table, like jumping over us. It was like crazy. I have scratches all over me. And I had to take him to a treatment room to, so that he wasn't near me to get his temperature taken and his vaccines done. So that wasn't great, but when he gets neutered, he's gonna get a chip that they can just scan for his temperature in the future. So hopefully this won't be an issue after he gets neutered because it was mostly the temperature that he was putting up a fight about. Um, but he's happy now. He just plopped himself down on the hallway rug. And I'm sure he's now gonna take a nice long nap. 
And I'm just gonna keep measuring out yarn and working on these kits. After I do the yarn, I think I'm gonna print out some stickers for the kits. And then actually before that, I might work on the listing and get like the listing prepared to set it live tomorrow on Etsy. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, we just need to keep stretching some of the fabric, but we're in a pretty good position. I don't feel like we have a ton of work or anything, so I'm just going to keep working on that. I also need to eat lunch, but yeah, I will see you in a little while. It's 1.25 and I just set up the listing for the punch needle kits and they're going to go live tomorrow at 10 a.m. The only slight issue I ran into is my poly mailers don't fit the boxes. I thought it would and then I found some that do fit that I have. But I only have like eight of them and so I was talking to Sean and we were going to go to Staples to get some more poly mailers. But then we we're like, mm, maybe we ship in boxes because... I don't want the punch needle box to get damaged in transit by just being in a poly mailer. So now we're deciding to ship in boxes, but we don't have any boxes that are big enough. So tonight after I teach, Sean and I are going to go to Walmart and we're going to get some boxes and hope that they're still in stock when we go. And then I kind of don't know what to do right now. I don't have fabric stretched, so I can't work on coasters right now. I think actually I'm going to print a bunch of stickers for the kits and then cut those out. So I'm just going to send that project to my printer and let it print a whole bunch. Okay, so for this first launch, I'm going to be releasing 36 kits. So I'm going to make 36 stickers right now. These are the stickers I'm making, if you didn't see it in my last video, just to go around the box. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. Supplies are accumulating. So I have some yarn, the instructions, instructions, um, the stickers. I have 35, no, I have 36 here. Um, my boxes are over there. I showed you that yesterday. We have some of, we have some of the hoops, and then I also have the punch needles off to the side and the felt. I'm gonna put together one of the boxes so that I can get an idea of how I want to pack it because. I want to do the tissue paper a little differently. Okay, so this is much better than how I was packing it in my last vlog. I only packed one in that one and I've unpacked it since. Uh, but I'm just going to fold the tissue paper like this and put an hour cherry corner sticker right on here. So I'm actually gonna go and print some of those stickers that I'm gonna put on the tissue paper right now. And this is as much as I can prepare the box before someone orders it because of the glue stick situation. So Sean and I are probably gonna prepare some of these tonight. Also, I need to write some thank you notes. So I think I'm gonna write some thank you notes. So I'll print some stickers and then I'll write thank you notes. Keep I keep writing songs about things that 
it out of my control. Okay, so the stickers are done, and like I was saying, this is just gonna be to put on to the tissue paper. So this is pretty much packed, and then if someone orders glue sticks, I'll add it to that. If they don't, I won't add it, and I'll seal up that bag. So I'm gonna write out some thank you notes right now. I think I'm gonna do a total of 10, uh, and then for the rest, when people order, I'll just write them when I'm packing up their order. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm gonna put these stickers here. This is looking very satisfying to me. We're gonna have to do a little assembly line later tonight or tomorrow. Oh. It is 3.38 and I'm working on these thank you cards and my hand is already getting so tired. I did one, two, three, four, five. And I already had one made, so I have six made. I'm gonna take a little break so that my hand doesn't cramp up, <laughs> it already is. And I also need to eat something before I leave. So I'm gonna make a snack and then honestly, I gotta get going kind of soon, like get ready. Yeah, I'm excited. This is the official start of the dance season, so. Exciting stuff and I'm supposed to be teaching five to eight But the seven to eight o'clock class doesn't have anyone enrolled right now and it might turn into an adult class So I don't think I have that class tonight. I think it's just five to seven So I will see you after I teach. I don't know what I'm doing Although we do need to go to Walmart tonight. I know that's for sure and we'll probably go to my parents to pick up packages <laughs> so Yeah, I will see you after I teach I'm back from teaching. I actually don't know what time it is I think it's maybe like Eight, 7.45, um, but that was really good. I only did two classes tonight. It's so interesting teaching little kids because some of them just don't wanna be there, but you gotta like work with it. I need to make that class more fun, but yeah. So I taught little kids and then right after that, so beginner class and then right after that was a beginner or advanced tap. So like the difference is just obviously drastic, but I am happy. I'm happy to be at the studio and I'm glad that the first week is like through so that I just know the classes and the vibe and the skill level. So yeah, back home and I think I'm gonna make a couple of kits tonight. It's really not bad. I just have to like put the items together into the box. I'm just like thinking where should I do that? That it's efficient, this like office is closing around me. So I don't know where I wanna do that. But we're about to eat and then head off to Walmart to look for boxes and then my parents to get packages. So maybe the kit assembly will be tomorrow. I really have no true reason that they need to be assembled before people order because I have everything put together, but we'll see. I don't think there's much else to say. I'm gonna go eat and then we're gonna run those errands and I will see you after. We are back home from Walmart and my parents. It's 9.30 right now and I got the boxes. Uh, the only thing is if people order more than one kit, uh, then I'm gonna need to get bigger boxes. But that's the hard thing, because otherwise if I get like a big box and majority of people I assume are only gonna order one, then there'd be so much extra space in the box. So I'd rather it this way. Did I say, I don't know if I said, but I got 40 of these boxes. Perfect, perfect fit. Also, I got a package, which I already know what it is. It's more embroidery hoops because I only have 12 left. So I ordered 36 more. And the limiting factor right now is the punch needles. We're only gonna have, wait, is it? It can't be, I ordered, wait a minute. What is this? Did I order more than? Uh-oh. <laughs> we might have a, t oh no, okay. Yeah, I ordered 18 hoops. So this is a limiting factor. We have, yeah, 36 of these total. We will see, I have no expectations for this launch because, I mean, I know there's interest. I know there's interest but I don't know whether or not I'm gonna end up selling 36 right away. Um, but I will say part of me thinks I will, so I'm a little nervous, because I wanna make sure that everyone who wants one gets one right away. But if you don't, 
first off, I'm sorry. But second off, I will have another launch. Hopefully soon. When is the soonest we can do another launch? Are the punch needles on their way? Uh, two weeks. We haven't even ordered more punch needles. So it'd be in two weeks. Ish. That's definitely not set in stone. But it's just, we just have to get the needles in and we get those from overseas. So it takes a while. I'm currently unpacking some hoops as I speak. And I hope you guys are okay with the price. Uh, it's $26 without glue sticks and $26.50 with glue sticks and let me just say I'm not making a whole lot off of these kits because of the cost of materials and my time and the cost of the boxes to ship them and just all the little things adding up. It's more so giving you guys a chance to make your own coaster um, with the materials that I use. So the price hopefully I'll profit a little more off of them once I start ordering more in bulk. I'm just opening these. Kind of satisfying. But this office is just filling up with these punch needle kit supplies. Kind of comical. I'm also pretty low on car coasters still, so tomorrow is going to be dedicated, I think. <laughs> it should be dedicated to car coasters and big coasters. I want to get a sheet done with car coasters and big coasters combined because realistically I can't do a full sheet of just car coasters in a day. That's just like a lot. Yeah, and I'm sure I'm gonna wanna pack up some of these kits too. I'm just gonna be excited. Good morning. It is 9.51 and we have nine minutes. Sean's off camera. <laughs> nine minutes until I launch the punch needle kits. I'm so excited. Um, I've never done like an official launch. I just post things and I say they're available. But this I've like scheduled. I've told people that 10 a.m. on Friday is when they're gonna go live. So sitting here waiting. I haven't vlogged this morning because I've just been a little anxious and I didn't want to, I don't know, I just didn't feel like vlogging yet. But I've traced out a whole sheet of coasters and phone grips and big coasters, car coasters, big coasters, that I'm trying to do all of this today. So. We'll see if I can do that. Because the market's tomorrow, <laughs> and I'm still low on a good amount of car coasters. In fact, I should be doing more than this, but that's okay. Um, also, Sean brought up the point that the fair might be canceled tomorrow because there's thunderstorms where the event is taking place. So since he's planted that seed in my head, <laughs> I'm like anticipating it like it's a snow day. Uh, like it's the same feeling, which probably isn't great. I like doing fairs. It's just that I'm not prepared for this one. So I prefer it to not happen. But only if I get refunded because I'm not trying to lose money. But let me check the weather again. Lightning from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like 40, 50 percent. Right. So I don't know if they take the chance. And raining, yeah. We have Six minutes left until I launch the kits. I'm very excited. Can you tell? I'll let you know how many we sell. If I do sell out, then the next launch, as I was saying, will probably be in two weeks. We're just waiting on punch needles to come in. Just kidding. We need to order more punch needles because the last order we have is coming in today. So it took about two weeks to get in. Okay, so yeah, two weeks. I don't know how many we'd order um, for the second launch because... Yeah, we just don't know how the first launch is even going to go. So we'll see. I will keep you posted, obviously. Also, Sean is stretching fabric. He's no, in his no, no, no. meeting on work, huh? I'm working. Also, Sean is working right now. And I stretched all this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and I am tracing the clouds onto the fabric slowly but surely it takes a little while because i want it to be like as perfect as possible so i've done one so i'm gonna keep doing that until it's 10 o'clock okay it is 9 59 clicking on the listing to publish it quick review everything looks good i'm gonna add the dimensions of the coaster that it makes okay publish with changes because it's 10 a.m i need to post on instagram stories that they're live. Actually, I'll just post it on Instagram. Okay, so this is the post that I just made. I just shared the product photos. Yeah. And so I just ordered! <laughs> 
Yay! I don't know if you saw that come in, but thank you, Susan. You're the first order. I'm nervous. I feel like I don't have enough listed. I think we're gonna do some packing tonight as long as we get a few orders. <laughs> it's nice though that I, I am anticipating orders because people have said that they're gonna order and I've even gotten emails and messages on Etsy about the kits. So I do feel confident that we're gonna sell kits. I'd be surprised if we didn't, but yeah, it's a good feeling to have. Um, I'm gonna sip on my coffee and continue tracing some of these even though Sean said not to he wants me to start tufting and i will i will but i need to monitor any orders so this is a good thing to do while i do that <laughs> i will update you in a little bit if we get more orders it's 10 after 10 and it's the punch needle kit is in seven people's carts and we sold four of them so very exciting uh duncan is literally doing a ballet off camera his leg was in an arabesque on the couch exciting i'm a little confused someone's order says share and save under it I don't know what that means. Sure. Oh, that means someone used my link. So I get 4% off my Etsy bill. I think that I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start a website soon. I'll probably keep Etsy, but also have a website. And if and when that happens, I would so appreciate if you're gonna place an order to do it through my website because Etsy's fees are just really high and I won't have those fees on my website. I'll have fees, but not as high as Etsy. Maybe even my pricing will go down but right now I don't get the full amount that I charge for items. But this new program that Etsy is doing is if you use your customized link, um, if people click that link to get to your shop and then they buy something, you save 4% on your Etsy bill. So not a ton of money, but it's better than not saving any money. So, oh, someone commented too bad not sending to Holland. Cause I'm only ship, I should have maybe mentioned that. I'm only shipping in the US because international shipping is expensive. And obviously, thank you so much if you ordered a kit. I really appreciate it. This is very exciting. Um, and I'm just gonna keep freaking out over every sale. And I should probably start punch needling soon because it's 10.15. It is so hot in here. It is. <laughs> like you can see the sweat on my face. It's not sweat, it's I'm sparkling because of how happy I am. I'm glowing. <laughs> We could fly a kite with our shoes off, bus on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need, and off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking me places, starry eyed and complacent. We could fly a kite with our shoes off, bus on the boom box, weather never too hot. Little breeze is all I need, and off to the races, watch it fly like a spaceship. You're taking I just gotta say, <laughs> right as I start talking, he starts squeaking his toy. Hopefully you can still hear me, but I just gotta say, it's like so exciting for me seeing that you guys are excited. Like I'm getting messages saying like you've ordered yours and you're so excited to try it. And that just makes me so excited. So it's such a cool like little experience and community on YouTube and really all social medias, but especially here on YouTube. I just, it makes me happy, so I appreciate it, and today is gonna be a good day. It's already a great day, but I'd be lying if I said that I'm excited for the market tomorrow. I'm now, like, counting on it being canceled, which is not a good mindset, but <laughs> is that bad? I just want to spend tomorrow editing this video and tufting. That'd be great. I'm packing punch needle kits. And I watch a ton of studio vlogs. I'm not naive to the fact that people will have launches and have like 200 orders come in within like the first hour. But this is like equally as exciting to me. This is obviously a smaller launch anyways. I only have 36 of the kits available. Um, I have made five sales of the kits and I think it's in like 10 people's carts right now. So very exciting and I'm gonna keep you updated. And I'm trying to punch needle. All I've done is this. I'm gonna keep working and stop chatting because clearly all I want to do is chat right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here very um, unmotivated to punch needle right now. So I think I'm gonna pack up the kits that have already been ordered. <laughs> Sean's shaking his head no. Why not? They have to be done. It's gonna take 10 minutes. So I'm gonna quickly do that and vlog it. And then I'm gonna have all the motivation in the world to punch needle this whole sheet. 
Okay, let's do it. Okay, so this is gonna be the little packing station. And I'm gonna see how many that I can pack right now because I know one of them, she ordered car coasters with them, so I'm gonna wait to pack her kit. But other than that, I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I can pack right now. So the first one is for Susan, and she got it without glue sticks. Cute. So I'm going to have to put the packing peanuts in there later and then finish packing up the boxes because the packing peanuts are at my parents. So for now, I'm just going to do that and then I have the name, so this is for Susan, and then I'm going to set it aside. We'll do packing peanuts later. Okay, the next order is for Bridget and she got no glue sticks. Okay, the next order is for Teresa, and she got it without glue sticks. And I put this in the description, but keep in mind, the project does require glue sticks. It's just optional to get it with this kit, so if you already have your own, I wouldn't get any. If you don't have your own, I would get them. They're small glue sticks, so they fit into a small glue gun. I apologize for the lighting. I think like a thunderstorm might be rolling in and I only have this light above me on so it's like dark in here other than that. But it's 3.08 and when I do a sheet of coasters in like a day, if that ever happens, it's rare, I work from like 10 a.m. to like 7, 8, 9 p.m. So this simply is not getting done today. <laughs> And I think the market is probably still gonna happen because people can set up tonight. And so I feel like if they haven't said anything about it yet, then they're not gonna cancel it because that means like people would have to go break down their booths. You know what I mean? Wow, this lighting's really bad. Let me fix the lighting. Okay, that's better. <laughs> so realistically, what I think is gonna happen is I'll just keep working on this tonight and then I'll bring this sheet to the fair tomorrow and try to finish it there. The unfortunate part is I don't have any orders on the sheet. So I have a lot of orders. This is just to restock my inventory. I have a lot of orders for car coasters that need to be done. Uh, the earliest it needs to be done by is the 12th, and today is 
the 8th. Yeah, the 8th. So, four days. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Um, four days, they have to get shipped out, some of them. So, it'll be possible, but I just need to get my butt in gear. Let me give you an update on the punch needle kit, though. I sold, I've sold 14 of them, and I don't know how many people's carts they're in. Oh, over 20 people's carts. So, that's very exciting. I'm gonna ship them out Monday. And then the ones that have coasters will have to wait to be shipped out. But yeah, that's going well. And I'm a little disappointed in myself because I'm not as far along on these coasters as I wanted to be. But that's okay. I'm just gonna keep working. And yeah, I will update you in a little bit. We officially have a severe thunderstorm warning and I hear the thunder starting. So since it's so cozy, I'm gonna just whip all these coasters out. <laughs> That's how it works, right? It's 8.30, we went to my parents for a bit and we just got back. Um, we had to go for the packing peanuts. So, I have a whole bag <laughs> of packing peanuts and I'm gonna use these to finish packing some of those kits. And then also, we were supposed to get more punch needles in today but it's been delayed until Monday, which honestly it's fine because I put a processing time of five to seven days on the kits. So, all the kids are still gonna go out in time, but some of them are gonna have to wait until Tuesday. But I'm going to pack up the ones that I started earlier today, and then let me also show you the progress on the coaster sheet. I worked on it a little bit at my parents. This is what we have. <laughs> Better than nothing, I'm gonna bring stuff to work on it tomorrow. I'm debating pulling out of the event tomorrow. It's like gonna thunder and rain. And I'm not, I don't know. I'm going to talk to Sean a little more about it. He probably won't pull out, but I'm hoping they would like say something either way. Like, oh, the event's still on, or we'll let you know, or it's not happening. <laughs> I'd like to have like updates on stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to finish packing those orders from this morning, the ones that I started. So I have six of them. And oh, let me tell you the total number of kits that I sold today. I sold 21 kits today, and I only have 36 available. So that's crazy. Thank you so, so, so much if you ordered. I hope you love it, I hope you have so much fun, and I would love to see the coaster once you finish it. So if you wanna share it and tag me on Instagram, I'll definitely repost it. Like, you can just tag me on your story. But yeah, let's do these orders. Okay, 
Okay, I just put the shipping labels on the packages I was working on earlier. So I have six, wait, eight packages right here. And there's seven more that I can make right now. Although I only have two punch needles. And then the rest of the orders have like coasters in them as well. So I couldn't pack and ship them right now anyways. Um, but I forgot about the punch needle thing. So I only can make two more right now. I might make those tonight. But um, first I'm going to trace cloud designs onto these embroidery hoops that Sean stretched for me. So yeah, let's do that. That might be all I get to tonight. And then I might pack all the other orders when I get the punch needles in. Heard it from a friend, she was in her bed, should have known better. Said it was the truth, she came on to you, yeah, but you let her. Knocked me over ten feet forward. Never knew I could sleep alone good, I've never been better. You're probably out there somewhere missing me. Wish I had an ounce of sympathy Yeah, I tell my friends that I wish you well But the truth is, honey, that I hope it hurts like hell Like hell When you see me leaving here with someone else Well, the truth is, honey, that I hope it hurts like hell Like hell Remember It's the next morning and we're 10 minutes away um i went to bed shortly after vlogging the last clip yesterday and here we are i was so tired this morning and i woke up and sean was taking care of everything he like packed the car made me breakfast did everything so i was not stressed at all and your alarm is going off i have a foot on my chin we're almost there I'm a little scared for the weather, not because it's going to storm. The storms are like off the forecast, but it's going to be a high of 85 and 85% 85 humidity. That doesn't sound very enjoyable, but we'll get through it. The fair is 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we have to get the cars off the road by 8.30. We're going to get there at 7.40. So we should be fine. And yeah, I will see you when we get there.
the start of the night and I'm waiting to call you It's knocking on doors in the dark, I've been walking out Been laid up on the news, now you're lying The look up on your face, now you smile It's the start of the night and I'm waiting to call you It's knocking on doors in the dark, I've been walking out Been laid up on the news, now you're lying The look up on your face, now you're smiling Okay, I am back from the market and it is 8 12 p.m. on Saturday. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not want to go to this market uh, last night into this morning because the forecast was thundering. And I've been to markets in the pouring rain and it's just it's just a waste of time and it's inconvenient too because all your stuff's getting wet. Well not all of it, you have a canopy, but like when you're breaking down and putting things back into the vehicle things get wet so I did not want to go I wanted to pull out but then this morning we were gonna go <laughs> I didn't pull out but we checked the forecast too and the storms were gone so that was really great the weather was great it was humid which I mean that happens but the Sun did come out and it was super nice weather wise I mean aside from the humidity and then in terms of foot traffic there were a ton of people at the event as you saw but all those people that you saw like in the video where there was a ton of people they didn't all make it to the craft area which was a few rows down so i think if we do it again we would definitely prefer to have a spot that was closer to that really busy area because it just wasn't that busy where we were we were in the last row of crafters but we did well you saw the total i think it was 612 dollars so that's good the booth fee was a hundred dollars so 512 dollar profit just in terms of the booth fee and yeah it was nice i'm excited that i don't have a market tomorrow because i have a lot of work to do i sold six or seven more kits today so i think i have oh my gosh i think i have 17 kits that i need to buy <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow i also got a lot of work done on my sheet like i just have to do the minions so I'm going to attempt to finish the minions tonight and then tomorrow I think I'm going to vlog and do a video just of tomorrow like a work day in my life. I don't think it's going to be a short video but it's just going to be shorter for me in terms of how long I film it. So instead of a week it's just going to be a day and I'll be packing kits. I have to do more tufting. So yeah I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Also with the tote bags we sold one of the new designs. I sold the I'm cool or like I'm really cool but I cry a lot. I think that's what it said. So I need to make more of those. I ordered more tote bags. They're in the mail so hopefully they come soon and I can make more of his tote bags. Thank you again to HTV Ront for sending me the heat press. I'm seriously so excited to keep using it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like to see the behind the scenes of running a small business and going to in-person events and pop-ups, markets, whatever you call them, then definitely subscribe for more. And I hope to see you in my next video. And thank you again to anyone who ordered a kit. Also, I'm waiting on more hoops to come in. Once they come in, I can make four more kits available on Etsy so that's that next launch will be in a couple of weeks that's what we're planning so yeah if you didn't get one this time 
you can hopefully get one next time. Okay, thanks for watching. Even